This is because they will provide manpower support to the homes and centers and help to collect funds for private pensions and health insurance. To reiterate our points, since the 1950s, the government policy in China has created a large population of elderly people, which will soon put a strain on the economy. The government then restricted the fertility rate, which measures like one-child policies. Finally, there have been large social changes in China, whereby people are waiting longer to have children. In response to this, we look at how government could extend the retirement age and encourage fertility to address the roots of the problem. We also argued how the government could then lessen the effect of the problem by providing more services for the elderly and encouraging financial independence. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you for listening. We hope you found it interesting and informative. This is because they will provide manpower to support the homes and centers and help to collect funds for private pensions and health insurance. So let's take a look at the points we have made so far. China's population policy led to an increase in the population, which caused the government to restrict fertility rates. As the country began to develop, social changes meant that many people were waiting longer to have children. To combat this problem, the government should extend the retirement age, whilst also promoting policy change to increase fertility. To meet the needs of the current elderly population, the government should develop more services aimed at older citizens, whilst encouraging financial independence. We've now come to the end of our presentation. We hope you have found it interesting and informative. Thank you for listening.